Welcome back to Ask Rad Rad. This is a series on my channel where I answer your questions about skateboarding and skateboarding related topics. I have a lot more research stuff that I do also on the channel, so check those out as well. But for now, we are going to answer this question uh, from Armor Games Fan, which is, what do you think makes a good style for a skater? So there was an interesting interview with Rodney Mullen, and it's something to do with the barracks. I think it was called A Beautiful Mind or something like that. And in it, he talks about, back in the day, uh, Henry Sanchez. Now, he was a big skater at the time. He was a big deal. And when he skated, he did something with his arm, like the way he kept it bent or something. And it was just kind of a distinctive thing that he did. And he talks about how a lot of people at the time, a lot of kids, would try to copy that style. And you'd see people out there pushing like, like Sanchez did. And he was saying how ridiculous it was because they're copying, you know, it's not like you go faster if you do that. You're just copying what someone else's more natural inclination is. And that's a little bit, you know, stupid. So I think there's a couple actual rules for style. Uh, things like, you know, flicking instead of mobbing, uh, catching your tricks instead of just landing on them, uh, you know, landing clean and not tic-tacking, that kind of stuff is kind of like the standard rules. But aside from that, if you're doing your tricks clean, uh, what makes your style good is just doing it in a way that feels natural to you, in a way that flows for you. So, you know, you can force it and try to copy what someone else does, and that's usually not going to work. Or uh, you can just try to get good at it yourself and get really comfortable and do it naturally. I think that comes across on, on video a lot. If you're comfortable on your board and it's just no big deal and you throw it and it's, you know, an easy trick for you, I think that looks a lot better. Um, so you can think about the front foot catch uh, that people do a lot. Um, I know people have asked me to do a video on that. I'm trying to do some more research on it. But basically, you know, when you do the 360 flip and you catch it way out here and your back foot's like floating around. I think there's a few people who were able to do that in like a really natural kind of way uh, because it is a natural thing. Catching the board front footed for a 360 flip is what you do anyway. So doing it a little bit more exaggerated is fine. But um, then there were people who were trying to make it a thing, you know and trying to catch it as far away as possible and bring it back. Or the other thing was um, trying to do it as straight-legged as possible. So you scoop the board and then just do this in the air and try to just do, make it look like you didn't scoop at all. And that kind of stuff will never really stick around because you're fighting the way the board, how, how the trick works. You have to scoop the board trying to act like you didn't. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's got to be more of a natural, flowy kind of thing. And I think that's where a good style comes from. All right, my second question is from Robin who asks, do you listen to music when you skate? Um, it may sound weird, but I pretty much never listen to music um, unless I'm in the car or something. Um, but you will see me with headphones on if I go out and skate because I typically listen to podcasts. Um, I know if I was like trying to get myself psyched up to hit a big rail or something, I'd probably have something going, but I don't really skate like that. So um, what I do is I listen to either um, audio books or podcasts. Uh, a couple of the podcasts I like, uh, first is called um, Sawbones, and it's about the history of how doctors would treat stuff, um, which doesn't sound all that interesting, but it's, it's funny, you know, and it's like in the 17th century, if you got this, they would have taken a goat and they grind up its bone and they would have rubbed it in your eyeball. And it's just kind of an interesting stuff um, about um, the history of doctors, which I like. The second one is Stuff You Should Know, which is kind of a general interest podcast about a topic. So they'll talk about, you know, how a certain thing works or how a drug works or, you know, the, the history of something that happened. It's kind of cool. The other one is called um, Video Creators. And that one is about the back end of YouTube. It's about, like, you know, how to, how to name your titles for SEO, how to, you know, whatever, get subscribers and stuff like that. Um, and so I try to make sure I know as much as possible I'm not doing anything to hurt myself, you know, I'm trying to grow as much as possible. So I listen to that one as well. There's a few more as well, but anyway, um, I, I'd like to know about you. Is there anything in particular that really helps you when you skate or is anyone out there weird like me and listens to things other than music? Um, put that in the comments, let me know. Also ask your questions for next time. Um, I'll be doing another batch of these soon. Um, you, can answer, you can ask them either in the comments here on Twitter or Instagram, there are links to those in the description. So ask me your questions and keep keeping me busy with these. Um, until next time, here are some more videos you might want to check out and thank you for watching.